So, so how many meals would you say that you eat per day? I try to eat every three hours. But what I'm witnessing here, it just seems like absolute superhuman food. You know, a big part of believing in the limitless nature of life is seeking and also experiencing vastly different perspectives of how people live, to what they eat, to overall what they value most in life. And today we're about to experience something that is literally going to grow both of our worlds. You see, a few weeks back, I came across this guy on Instagram named Gennaro, who not only looks different than anyone I've ever seen before, but also has a mentality that's nothing short of absolutely inspiring. Right now I'm going to meet up with Gennaro at his gym, and let's just go experience what it's like to live like a bodybuilder. Gennaro, how are you, man? Welcome Great to right, meet man. you. How you doing, all right? Yeah, yeah how are you? Not too bad, man. So, we head in? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, what are you working out today? I mean, today's officially a rest day, but oh, fuck it, let's do chest and back. <laughs> how many days a week do you normally uh, hit the I gym? do three on, one off. I'll do chest and back. Day one, yeah. legs day two, okay. to give my upper body rest, gotcha. and then shoulders and arms day three. I'm here to get what I came for, and open invitation to bring it on. I bring precipitation to clean water, since the teen I'm a team to supreme water. The thing with, with this gym and many of the gyms that I work out of, yeah. is that they can get very busy, Yeah. and if you super send two different exercises, someone might take your pull down, for example, if that's if that's what I'm doing next. Yeah, yeah. And you got to learn to just say, all right, fuck it, I'm just going to do some bent over rows. Yeah. Whereas other, a lot of people, newbies, or people that are in their head, they'll cross their arms and get frustrated. Mm. And they always using that. If someone wants to work in, or if someone takes out a piece of equipment, yeah. hey, we got an hour, let's. Let's do two bar rows. Something that I encourage wow. to pose the body part that you're working. Really? To flex it, yeah. Interesting, okay. Um, and is this to like practice for like your performing or is it to... No, no. It's okay. to actually increase muscle definition and separation. Yeah. If I do this for mm. 10 seconds, Bobby, yeah. while I'm doing that, right? see what I'm doing as I'm exhaling, Bobby? Yeah. You see the abs yeah. and the chest, right? And the biceps, now the shoulders are getting involved. That are not only, like I said, increases definition of separation, yeah. but it helps you connect mind to muscle ah, yeah, yeah. I teach power pose and I infuse it into a lot sure. of my clients' workouts because yeah. sometimes they're like, you know, I'm not really feeling this crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get them to do this. This is called the overhead genie. For me, like looking at that, I'm like, how, like, I, I don't even know how I could do that. Like, I don't think I even know my muscles well. I don't have that much muscle, but yeah. I don't, I, I don't even know my muscles that well to like do something like that. That's the thing. A lot of people, they see power pose. It's something that I've created, yeah. that I've trademarked, and they're like, power pose. Mm, that's not for me because I don't have the muscle or the body for it. Yeah. In fact, we all have, like you have just the same muscle makeup as I do. You yeah. Keep going, bicep. I didn't even know you were to do this. <laughs> yeah, a, bit, a little bit more pop in your biceps as you flex in. Okay. Let me see those biceps pop a little more. That's it. You should feel what I came in this game for. You can keep your bad bitch in your range roll. All right. So where are we off to now? I'm gonna head over to Whole Foods. I try to eat every three hours. Okay. It's like you need variety in your workouts. Yeah. You need variety in your nutrition. Mmm, okay, okay. That's something that I really wholeheartedly believe in what creates a fully functional physique. Yeah. Is, is getting nutrients from many different sources. So you don't just eat chicken breast? No, <laughs> no, it's a joke, right? No, because every workout see, vlog I, that I, I see, get, no, no. I, <laughs> every workout vlog that I see, it's just okay. Eat uh, four oh. chicken breasts, 
three times a day, four times a day, and then it's like, okay, what else can I eat or something? You know? Yeah, it's exactly. My dad's a chef, right? My yeah. dad, for me, honestly, and I'm not just saying this, yeah. one of the best chefs in the world. He was taught in Naples, right? Yeah. And that's why I think I love this lifestyle even more is because not only do I, I love working out, but yeah. I love cooking. You love bringing the nutrition to other people than just yourself, too. Right. You know your nutrition, but you also know how to cook a good meal, too. I, I usually have an avocado or two every day. Avocado is good fat. Mm. It's good, especially if you're peckish at night. A lot of people, like, they haven't eaten all day. It's, it's, gonna, it's a fruit that's going to really fill you up. Mm. Even, even if you're having it with chicken breast, sometimes chicken breast can be very dry. Mm. You, you smother over some avocado, just moistens it up beautifully. It's amazing. Yeah. You sound like a chef, man. I'm happy to be here I know, with you. Man. <laughs> I, I, I should change occupation. <laughs> I can see it right now on YouTube. Yeah. The, the bodybuilding chef or something like That's that. It. Apples, I've been eating all my life. Mm. And again, one way that I stay clear of the, the shit at mm. night is if I get really peckish or I'm really craving something sweet, yeah. I'll just dive into an apple. Mm. Satisfying your cravings the yeah. right way, basically. One yeah. apple, you know? Just have no. an apple before you go to bed. Yeah. Salad's good. I usually get salad, a bag of salad, have that with uh, tomato, cucumber, mushrooms I love. Yeah. And lately I've been eating a lot of portobello mushrooms. They have a lot of B vitamins. It seems like it's all about nourishing your body each exactly. and every single meal. Like, no matter what, Putting something inside you, that's for a reason. Right, That right, you right, get right, something right. from it. That's so in terms of like protein, what are the things that you generally go for here? I usually go for beef, organic ground beef. Yeah. I'll do bison, ground bison. I have pork chops at home. Okay. I like to vary it up as much as possible. Yeah. I'll do chicken sausages, chicken breast. What's, what, what I feel is very convenient is ground turkey. 16 ounce pack. I can make four patties out of, which is two servings. If you're in a rush uh, and you can't cook, just down eight ounces of, you know, cracked black pepper turkey breast. Kind of a like minimalist way of just going about exactly. it. Like, I'm just gonna down one of these turkeys, one of these avocados, and boom, you're good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these go well in a salad. Okay. Like I said, to beef up, you know, when you're not you're feeling a bit run down and you just want to bite into some chocolates and cake, Yeah. boom. This is so interesting walking around with you here yeah. because, you know, like going into this, you just see kind of, oh, like a lot of steak, a lot of chicken, a lot of, oh, dude, man. you just held up those olives like they were like the most powerful thing in the world. You're like, boom, like this is like it, you know? And so true, man. Yeah. Eggs, I always eat eggs. I, do, I usually do a dozen at a time. Wow. Okay. And I used to just do whites, but now I just, I'll just eat six whole eggs. Wow, okay. Yeah, in one meal. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I am excited to see what you oh, shit, cook, you man. <laughs> so Sorry. what are we oh. cooking oh. here, man? <laughs> so as you can see, things, a few things need to be washed up. Oh. <laughs> Dude, we got the realness on this channel, yeah. man. I feel like we're about to enter into a bit of like a cooking show here. Yeah. So for the next couple of minutes, it's gonna be cooking show. Tomorrow. We're gonna do the peppers first. Portobello mushrooms, they go in there. I don't like my veggies overcooked because sure. you want to maintain still a lot of the nutrients in there. I'm wearing this fanny bag, <laughs> which isn't, isn't a good look. <laughs> so you heat this up a bit because it was on low flame. Yeah. And I just like to put a bit of cracked pepper in there, oregano and some basil. And because the rice is already cooked, mm -hmm. We're gonna put that in towards the end. So I'll leave that there. A little bit of red pepper, garlic powder, give it a bit of a toss. About a teaspoon of avocado oil in there. Tasty cooking. It's just keeping it tossing and turning. Now we're gonna do the rice. I think this is actually jasmine rice. So you mix it all in with the vegetables, like so. Jeez, just fell in the sink. <laughs> That's huh? the real cooking show is right there. We're gonna add a little bit of this Rao's marinara sauce. Not too much, because we don't want it to overpower the flavors in the rice, the mushrooms, and and the peppers. So, mm, smell that, mate. Oh, That's man. good stuff. So, again, because the sauce is pre-cooked, I'm gonna pour this 
just for safekeeping into this glass bowl here. Throw the salt in. And as you can see, they're starting to take on the color of the sauce sure. and the vegetables that were in here. At first, when I said cooking show time, I was kind of kidding, but you're literally putting on a good cooking show over here. Oh, man. thanks, man. Gennaro, the only thing I can say is that you look like you're introducing me to your secret foods. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, it's, this is incredible. People yeah. say, oh, it's. I wish I had the time, but I, I say the same thing about other things that I'm out of touch with. Sure. That I'd yeah. like to do more of. Of course, yeah. But I think we all have the time. Mm -hmm. We just have to focus. This is how easy it is. Pack it, vegetables, chop chop, a little bit of sauce, pre-cooked rice, throw it all in, mm -hmm. voila. Gennaro, you mm. outdid yourself here, man. So what do we have here in front of us? We have the wild scallops, jasmine rice, orange peppers, and portobello mushrooms in a marinara sauce. Absolute power food right yeah, here. Yeah, power food, the complete meal. All right, man, well, let's dig Let in me before know what it think. gets cold. Absolutely, man, this looks amazing. Oh, man. Good? You weren't kidding, man. Yeah. That's a $100 meal right yeah, there. I see a bunch of like supplements on the table here. So old school. I'm an ambassador for, I'm like a team athlete. Yeah, the amino acids, the branch chain. Mm -hmm. We got um, Vintage Burst, mm -hmm. which is a testosterone booster. You know, you just used a few ingredients in mm. the meal and everything is fresh, everything is Super tasty. Fresh. The scallops are wild scallops, so they have more like taste and more flavor attached mm -hmm. to everything. Combined with the peppers, that like little kick of like flavor. It's so simplistic, but so fresh, so tasty. Well, I'll keep it simple, man. There you go, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll see. Maybe my next video will be transformation or something. Why like not? That. Let's do it, man. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Leave a comment below if you want us to do a transformation video on this right, body of mine. Yeah, the jeans. <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. And no, I'll fun. leave the Instagram and your website description box below. Go check them out, guys. I wish you all could be experiencing this. Food. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Wait for the bomb to hit bar.